Camping in Nissan for the first time. I have no idea what I'm doing. Here we are. I'm there now. All right, we just arrived. Lily's mum was here. And I think we only have about 80 minutes of light left to get this tent up. Otherwise, we'll be putting the tent up in the dark. Matt, be careful, Matt. Stand like a car. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we had to postpone putting up the tent because it's time to pick up Lily's daughter from primary school. Uh, we're not setting any world speed records here, but uh, we're making good progress. All right, so we're in the Honda Wave. Uh, it's got no clutch, four gears. I can't see any brakes whatsoever. Huh? My story. Yeah, your story. My story. This is not my village. This is like my auntie village. My village is the other one with the grandma. With obviously grandma. Oh. Different village. Lily, this is the same school that when you were a little 12 year old went to? 7 to 13, yeah. That's primary school, elementary school. Everyone hold on. This, after 20 years, is my first time to come back to this school. Rural Nissan Primary School. <laughs> they go. Bad news, looks like uh, daughter's not here. She does have a mobile phone, but she's cracked the screen on both sides. All right, well, we'll go looking for her. I can see them. <laughs> They're running out. They're running Whoop, out. Whoop. Back to first gear. Leo side. <laughs> Attention. What's going on, Minnie? How are you? What's going on, Bradley? How are you? Oh. Hey, boys. How are you? Saudi Cup, how are you? Saudi Cup, how are you, bro? <laughs> I've never driven a scooter with a side car. That was a lot of fun. So we were here about three months ago and the land has changed. It's no longer wet season. Now is the start of dry season apparently, but it's still looking pretty lush. Lily's given me half a cup and it's time to have a beer with Mama. Chokti Kab! Chokti Kab! Chokti Kab! Chokti Kab, everyone! With the campsite clean up, we can bang out the tent. Sorry. Put down our drop sheet to keep the bottom of the tent a little bit clean, and that costs us. 120 baht or four dollars. The tent, on the other hand, I think it was a nice round 3,000 baht off Lazada. So this shed has power from the street and it's got a light, but no bulb. So we're sending the kids to get a light bulb. Princess. Oh, no, no. Everyone, Lily's in the bathroom and she's failed to close the door. Not the first time. This is not exactly what we expected for night one of camping. These are Lily's nephews and daughter. It looks like they're gonna camp in the, what would have been like the storage section of our brand new tent. So it's a party of six. Grandma, Mama's coming for dinner. Lily's in the back. Does anyone remember that movie, The Congo? You know, in that scene where they're in the middle of the Congo in the jungle, campsite set up, and then they've got like lights, and there's like a circle of safety with the tent in the middle, and then all around is danger. Uh, it's a bit like what I feel like here in Isan, camping here for the first night. We don't have the machine, automatic machine guns like in the Congo, but we have mosquito coils everywhere. <laughs> I love this. The boys have brought their school uniforms. They plan to go straight from here in the morning to school. How is the dedication? When I was their age, there's no way I would have. Think about school. Yeah. I'm gonna be. I'd be like, oh, oh, mum, mum and her yeah. silly boyfriends here. There's no way, and we're camping. Mm -hmm. There's no way I'm going to school in the morning. Okay, we've forgotten some cooking items, so we're driving to the shops. We can go to other shop. Oh, don't tell me she's going to open again. Oh my god, she is. <laughs> All we needed was a bit of cooking oil, <clears throat> dishwashing liquid, and ice. Nam Kang. Ah, perfect. Gokun Kaap, that's perfect size. Gokun thank you. How we go, kid? Let's. <laughs> you can see the zombie light up, the purple light up there. Washing powder. Okay. 
Nam Kang. And oh, what's Mama doing? Putting a new light on. Mama gotta do something. Yeah? You really want it through that? It is so cool to see Lily slip back into mum mode like so quickly. The eldest child here is her daughter and um, three nephews belong to her sister who died abruptly and then their dad died abruptly shortly after. Um, I won't go into it, but throughout their lives she's, she's cared for them um, from when they were nine months old, the twins. In, in all honesty, a lot of the Patreon or buy me a coffees that, that have come through to me for the channel, um, a percentage of that has, has gone to this family um, because I care about them a lot. Super cool to see them all together finally again. So I'm not sure exactly what's happening out here right now, but apparently I have to take a shower before I'm allowed in bed. Except there's no shower. There's a hose through the window and cement. Yeah. And it's cold. Quickly, like quickly. You have to shower quickly. Lily's worried that it's all a bit too much for me, but it's not. I can be bushy. I've been in the bush before. All right, people, wish me luck. That's a once and once only thing in my life. Don't forget to dislike and unsubscribe. All right, well, we're safely in the tent. That's all for today, and uh, we'll catch you in the morning. Good morning, all. Looks like Lily and the kids have been up for some hours. Lily's been out here getting the kids ready for school and cooking me a stir fry breakfast. And as it transpires, I'm on school run duty, which I'm super excited about. I get to drive to the school and drop the kids off. All right, kidlets, off we go. <laughs> oh, how picturesque is this morning sun? Sunny cup. Sunny cup. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, you little grommets. Hope you learn a lot. Focus more on history and geography and science than maths. Maths sucks. I think my school duties are over. And I best proceed. Oh, mozzies everywhere. Sodi car. <laughs> so good. This village in the morning sunshine is absolutely sublime. I mean, look at this. We're just gonna let nature take its course on that one. I tried to intervene with a horn, but they weren't listening to it. All the small ones were ganging up on a big one, but he looked like he could take care of himself. And honestly, probably not part of their pack. It's probably trespassing. <laughs> <laughs>